the flood in the Tower of Babel. The flood. People of the world became corrupt and full of violence. As a consequence, God decided to send a flood to destroy the earth and its people. The Bible says that only Noah walked blamelessly before the Lord. Because of Noah's righteousness, God spared Noah, his wife, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. God gave Noah precise instructions for constructing an ark from cypress wood or gopher wood. He commanded Noah to fill the ark with pears of every kind of animal, as well as food and supplies. Once Noah's family and the animals were in the ark, God sent rain for 40 days and nights. These waters remained on the earth for 150 days. When the waters receded, the ark came to rest on a mountain. Noah and his family built an altar and sacrificed to the Lord. God sent a rainbow as a sign that he would never, ever again send a flood that would destroy all life. Amen. Now, the Tower of Babel. Genesis 11. Well, the flood in the tower... Well, the flood was Genesis 6-8. Okay. The Tower of Babel in the early years of the earth. All men spoke one language. Gathered in the plain of Shinar, the biblical name for the ancient kingdom of summer, pleasant, pleasant day, present day Iraq. Men decided to make bricks out of baked mud and build a tower that would reach the skies so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the men were building. The Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will, will be impossible for them. Genesis 11, 4, B, 6. Therefore, he confused their languages and scattered them over the earth. Because the people could no, no longer understand one another, the place was called Babel, which means to jumble. Amen.